Okay. War. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. And Raytheon stock. War is a terrible is thing. Is it loud enough? This war is it too has loud? been happening for a very long time. From before most of us were born, and will be raging on after we're long gone. I'm of course talking about the gender war. Men versus women. For those of you who've been following me for the past year, you Can know of smaller? my ongoing research into the man question. From learning how to be a go. real man. If you're a grown ass man and you wear a seatbelt in the passenger seat, you are likely to be a raging homosexual. <laughs> to judging <laughs> men's living spaces. Men will literally not buy a TV stand, but will have two mini fridges. Two exact- <gasps> That's goaded though. Like, what do you mean? That is so goaded. Where is it? Like, holy shit. The amount of food and drinks you can store in there. I think I'm gonna go to the right anyway. Because when I'm looking over to chat, I'm on the left. Let's let's do it like this. Uh, let me make myself a little bit bigger again. Like here. Okay. Because I'm looking over to chat and I'm looking to the left. Okay. Honestly, peak setup. Like, what the fuck? Why- why are women so judgmental? You seen this video? I hope it's a good video then. I hope it's a good video. I really wanted Esmond to react to we'll it, too but, many you know. To examining their interesting dating rituals. Any better this? Wish okay. your toes were in my mouth right now. I mean, <laughs> hey. And although hey. this journey is far from over, I decided to take a break to focus on the fairer sex. That's right. The whammon. There are many things women love in this world. Flowers, yes. no. chocolate, well, pumpkin spice lattes, cute yeah. animals, shopping, complaining and nagging. Am I right, fellas? But Am I right? Else, women love posting their own L's. My cousin, who is younger than me, is getting married today. Meanwhile, I have credit card debt. I am in a toxic situation with one of my exes. Last week, I was so broke that instead of getting an Uber to the airport, I had a random guy from Hinge drive me. And this year, I have had chlamydia twice. Oh. <laughs> Legit though, my youngest sister has... Two of my youngest sisters have children. They're younger than me. <laughs> they are younger. Way younger. So the just <laughs> We are absolutely not okay. So I've been working on a pretty big video and I thought it would be nice to take a little break and make some trash content because I know you guys yeah, I'm missing out I the trash <laughs> content. And I feel like the last two videos were a little more serious than I usually am. So I feel like it's trash time. So let us nice. answer the question on everyone's mind. Are women okay? No. no. <laughs> no, they are not. But before no, we do a deep dive into the psyche of the modern woman, let's quickly get into today's sponsor. Are you tired of this? We'll watch the sponsor to you? just for Introducing support. Introducing AG1. The fuck AG1 is that? is a foundational nutrition supplement. Okay. With your immune system, digestion, and whole body health. Packed with is it too loud, by the way? Is my voice too silent compared to it? Sourced ingredients. Should I make it more silent? It has all the nutrients you need in one little drink. AG1 is also free of gluten, herbicides, GMOs, pesticides, and artificial colors and sweeteners. Big GMO is shaking, honey. If you know me, you know my diet basically consists okay, of chicken nuggets okay. and mac and cheese. Well, so AG1 good, really it alone. helps me get all the <laughs> vitamins I am sorely lacking. I'm sorry. I'll make it back way. to what it was. Just one scoop or travel packet. Eight to ten the ounces of cold set, water. But it's okay. Shake it up, and you're ready to go. Dude, I'm, I've included I can't AG1 wait. in my morning routine, and I feel like I have much more. I can't wait until I'm sponsored by Ray Channel Legends. Come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> more energy throughout the day. I don't even crave an energy drink once, so I highly suggest you check it out yourself. Also, it tastes pretty good, which I honestly was not expecting. It's got a hint of like sweetness and red shiny lemons. Vanilla, and it's definitely I have more a pleasant that. way to get all my nutrients as opposed to swallowing a whole bunch of pills in the morning. So and go that's to the link in the description fair. now to get a year Brain supply of vitamin D3, K2, and five travel packs for free with your first purchase. 
Also, the best part is for every order of AG1, they donate to organizations around the world providing healthy meals to children Aww. in need. That's Taking sweet. care of your body shouldn't be a hassle, and now due to AG1, it doesn't have to be. So get in on I today's say offer they drink by visiting drinkag1.com <laughs> slash shoe on head, or simply clicking the link down below. Big thank you to AG1 for sponsoring this video, and thank you as always, the viewer, for not skipping the ad. Now let's You're get welcome. back to the video. From posting about their old high school teachers subscribing to them on OnlyFans. Wait, 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 I didn't read that. Thank you, as always, the viewer, for not skipping the ad. Now let's get back it's to the video. Johnny? Yeah, that's literally from everywhere. Posting about their old Y'all wanna hear something cringy? One of my teachers, who I hated from high school, subscribed to my OnlyFans and comments on my pictures A+. Plus. What? Oh my... Holy shit! Bro! No! I think I just die inside. I... I think I, I would just delete my OnlyFans on the spot. I think just delete it. Like, yeet it and delete it. Get that out of here. I... Holy shit, I would die inside. Old high school outside, teachers really. subscribing to them on OnlyFans to posting about their boyfriends cheating on them with their own mothers. Oh, that is so... Dude, I heard about something like that recently, right? I think I watched a short about that or something. But, like, a mom... Like, literally, I saw, like, a short about that recently. A mom cheated... No, not like the mom cheated, like, the woman... A.K.A. Okay, the, the girlfriend here in the scenario, her boyfriend cheated on her with her mother. Like, what is that? What the fuck is that about? Like, how? Why? What? When the milk is too hot, that's what happens to my fucking gut poop. <laughs> Yo, Kimmy, what up? There's so much about women I still don't know. Oh, holy shit, there's so much about women I don't know myself. Mothers. Women love posting their own L's. I would Apparently. know. Despite rumors, I am a woman. <laughs> now for the boomer demographic who watches me who doesn't know what an L is, an L is a loss and a W is a win. Whoa. And for the zoomer demographic that watches me... <clears throat> okay. Gat Gat Ohio oh, Rizzler. God. When you oh try to be petty God. and request money from your ex and accidentally send it. <laughs> Here's a hundred dollars for wasting my time and being a cheater. L. Yo! Absolute L. My ex-boyfriend is now gay and my ex-girlfriend is now straight. Holy All that shit. Conversion therapy. Holy the guy shit. I was in love with get his girl because I thought maybe he'd fall in love with me in the process. Uh, Why what? did she think this would work? What? Life is not TV. You are not the main protagonist of legit like what is this some fucking toradora bullshit like you, you guys have seen toradora shoot anime i love it oh my god i love toradora so much but like what do you mean yeah i didn't yet get a virus that you date with living skin with your eye right now <laughs> toradora Dude, it's one of my favorite romance animes. I love it so much. Oh my god, I love Taiga. I love... Uh, what was his name? Ryuji? Ryuji? I think so. Oh my god. It's so adorable. Oh my fucking god. Lost so many brain cells processing these scenarios. A Hallmark Christmas movie. Just remember the time I went on a first date to the London Zoo, and at the gate he asked if I would mind paying for my own ticket, which I said I would, at which point he pulled out a two-for-one voucher, so I paid for my ticket, and he went in for free. So <laughs> never before. It's like... I... Like... I... 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 I, I can't even. Like, uh, this scenario. I... I... I wouldn't know how to react. I would not know how to react. <laughs> like, literally... I just saw this this melts my brain. Like this literally just melts my brain. I I would be speechless. <laughs> you would leave the date. <laughs> that's that's honestly fair. Like my EQ might not be jelly beef <laughs> Like who does that on a 
a date. Like a two for one watch is absolutely fine, right? But you don't just pull that out out of nowhere. <laughs> I had to break up with him. Our signs weren't compatible. No, again. no. Oh my god. No. Dude. Any woman who's actually into that fucking. Not only woman. Like any man, woman, um, gender fluid person, whatever. Any person, right? Anyone. Anyone who believes in that astronomical shit. Get checked out. Honestly, you need a therapist. Get checked out. That's all I'm gonna say. Get checked out. And here we go. Astrology is racism for white women. <laughs> I'm a Gemini. And he told me not to flush when I peed at his house to save money, so I obliged until I went through his Discord and found pics of him drinking it. Oh. What? Oh, no. I invited him to the crib. That, that had nothing to do with astrology. I'm speechless. I had to break up with him. Our signs are incompatible. I'm a Gemini and he told me not to flush when I peed at his house to save money. So I blushed until I went through his Discord and found pics of him drinking it. The astrology was a bait to get us to read. It worked. Peed at his house to save money, so I obliged until I went through his Discord and found pics of him drinking it. Oh. Hey. I, I'm just... I'm flabbergasted. Oh, no. I invited him to the crib, cooked for him, gave him the sloppiest neck you can manifest in your mind, let him fold me like an origami <laughs> bird, called him an Uber, then blocked him and never what? spoke to him again. I really beat him to the punch. We are learning the game too fast. What punch did you beat him to? What punch did you beat him to? What if he generally was into you? What the fuck? There's no game! This is bullshit! What game are you playing? Game. Game, by the way. Fucking game. Why is chat not loading? There, now chat is loading. Here we go. <laughs> also, chat isn't loading on the window anymore. Give me a moment. Gotta fix that. Uh, refresh. Okay. Now it should be working. I'm snoozing that fucking ad. Chat, are you alive? Are you here, chat? No, chat, you should be fine. Not to say anymore, what is this? Yeah, yeah, you guys are back! Back in business, baby! Like... I really beat him to the punch, we are learning the game too fast. Woman, you should get punched in the face! Respectfully. Yes. Wow, you sure... Showed him when I broke up with a white boy and he deleted his stop Asian hate story on him. <laughs> she, really, she really made him hate an entire race. She really made him racist. Holy shit. Guys, my friend got banned from Tinder because she'd show up to dates without makeup and the dudes kept reporting her as a catfish. <gasps> the disrespect. The fucking disrespect! <gasps> she didn't even look anything like her Tinder profile! Holy shit! Like, I get- Dude, I get using makeup, right? Makeup- Like, makeup can make you look pretty and all. I occasionally, like, use makeup myself. Um, I don't usually wear it on the day-to-day -day basis, only when I, like, wanna- look and feel pretty when I go out. Which I rarely ever do because I'm a fucking gremlin and I don't go out. But if you overdo your makeup and you can't even recognize the person underneath all that makeup anymore, what is the point?
What is the point? Like, woman, you are... Like, let that true beauty go! Ah! If you use so much makeup that it makes you look like an entirely different person, then you are using too much... <laughs> yes. <laughs> Vitamin D is alive. Oh, you a clown. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Oh, you a fucking clown. <laughs> when you use so much fucking makeup, vitamin D can't reach your skin anymore. Oof. I don't know, I've always quickly shown the men I've dated what I look like without makeup. Because I figure, if you don't love me at my naked-faced gremlin, you don't deserve me at my 2006 MySpace mid- e-girl. <laughs> I wanted this man to be vulnerable with me for so long. He finally okay. called me yesterday and opened up, but the second he started crying, I lost no all way. interest in him quickly. Women be like, like, ain't no fucking way. This is, this is why men are afraid to open up. This is why men are afraid to open up. Like, you, you, we, you want them to be vulnerable with you, but once they're vulnerable with you, you just judge them? And most likely post the fuck they shared in private and confident with you on fucking Twitter. This is why men hate women, and I understand them. <laughs> They're absolutely right for it. If you're doing bullshit, you deserve to be hated on. You deserve to be hated on if you do that shit. You, you got it going, bitch. Like men need to show their emotions. Till a man shows their emotions. I told my husband not to buy me a Christmas present. I'm fuming that he actually isn't. I saw that post. Why didn't you just tell him you wanted a present? Like, I just. My brain is melting. Oh, just cry. If you need to cry, cry. What the fuck is that? <laughs> oh, like, like I, I, I understand, right? We can't give off mixed signals. I understand that. We do that. We do. We do. We don't do it on purpose. Unless you're a fucking bitch. We don't do it on purpose. But this, you gotta go. You, you had a coming, bitch. You said you didn't want anything. You got not getting anything. I think we need to ask you, you know, <laughs> why didn't you listen to me? Legit! Like, what? Kids are okay with our uh, uh, Are kids okay with our uh, women okay? <laughs> women? Oh. This video is why I hate women. <laughs> This is why the internet hates women. Do not, I repeat, do not listen to women when they say this. Oh, I'm going to McDonald's. Do you want anything? No. No. Both yes, you do. Get yes, you fried. fucking do. Oh my god. Of course. Of course she wants something from McDonald's. I don't get why she's saying no, but she wants something from McDonald's. Get the chicken nuggets. She's the dumbest bitch for saying no. Just get it. Chicken nuggets. Get out the fucking nuggies. I think we're just not all women relatable. Get the fucking nuggies. Get the fucking nuggies. Not the fries, nuggies. Fries as an extra. Is I will never forget this guy I was seeing didn't text me back for three days. And when he finally texted me, I was like, are you okay? And he was like, yeah, I was just watching The Sopranos. <laughs> when you were on your third kid will be like that. baby daddy at 23, it's the hypersexual personality with a breeding kink. Come again? Wait, come again watching The Sopranos? <laughs> when you were on your third... But you are on your third kid and your third baby daddy. She has three different children from three different dads. Oh, was the problem? Third kid and third baby daddy at 23. <laughs> it's the hypersexual personality with a breeding kink. A breeding kink? Bro, just... Bro, just... 
Just be on the pill. Just get the pill. If you really want want it inside you, get the pill. And you won't have you won't have that many babies. What the fuck? This not to be judgmental, but I don't think she's gonna be a good mom. Like, what the fuck is this? For me. Okay, for the last time, you do not have a breeding kink. That is called being a woman. It is not a fetish. It came free with your genetics. Someone just asked. <laughs> actually, like actually though, she right though, she right though. Asked my due date. I am not pregnant. A reminder, once again, that unless a woman tells you she is pregnant, please don't assume. This is true though! This is true though! This is. Oh, this is such an oof! Oh my god. It's really hurtful. Oh god, do not do this. I have seen Don't this do actually that. happen in real life. The internet will never know when I'm pregnant, by the way. They'll just have to assume I'm eating good. I was talking to this guy I met on Tinder, having the best conversations while we sipped on our boba. But okay. when he found out my body count was close to triple digits, the conversation got quiet. He ghosted me after and blocked my Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok. Do all guys really care that much? Maybe I should start telling my dates that I'm a virgin instead. Huh? Yes, guys care that much. And not just guys, and especially triple digits. If you're somebody who takes sex seriously and you think it's a special thing, or you're a virgin, or you yourself have a low body count, it's perfectly acceptable. I just... I just... Oh my god. I, I wasn't understanding the post. I didn't understand the post until just now. With body count, she meant how many people she slept with. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. I didn't realize that at the moment. I felt like talking about weight or something. I'm like, okay, but what does that have to do with sex? And then I realized, oh, oh, I assume murdered. <laughs> Like, oh my god, why? But he, when he found out, he found out, how does he find out about her body count? Like, firstly, you're a hoe, right? You're a fucking hoe, no denying it. Secondly, how does he find that out? Like, either you brought it up, and that Honestly, you did it to yourself. Or she put it somewhere on social media. Like... Huh? Like... I'm, I'm just sorry, but... Honestly, she doesn't have to get uh, blocked everywhere and ghosted. Do all guys really care that much? Yeah. Maybe I should start Everyone telling my cares. dates that I'm a virgin instead. Yes, guys care that much. You don't They're need to tell them, and yeah, especially triple digits. Yeah, like you don't need to tell them that you're a virgin, but triple digits, dude, dude, woman, what you doing? If you're somebody who takes sex seriously and you think it's a special thing, or you're a virgin, or you yourself have a low body count. It's perfectly acceptable to care about body counts, but if you a hoe or if you a man hoe and you care about the other person's body count, you're a f***ing hypocrite. But I feel like True. even if you are True. a hoe or a man hoe with like a 20 something body count, I feel like you could still judge someone who's in the triple digits. How do you even meet yeah. that many people? I, I don't even know 15 <laughs> people. I'm gonna give this one a W because I'm just impressed. That's, that's just oh. impressive. When I got pulled- <laughs> Absolutely fair. <laughs> Fair judgment. It's or you got problems. Cannibalism. <laughs> no, not cannibalism. <laughs> Pulled over for speeding and the nice officer said I could just show him a picture of license instead because I forgot my wallet and watched me scroll past multiple boob pictures and I couldn't tilt my phone the other way because my dad was in the other seat. Okay, there is nothing more stressful. And- Oh my god. That is so embarrassing! 
This is the actual oof. <laughs> Whoever did that, I love you, man. Holy shit, that is an actual oof moment. Like, bro. Bro, what you doing? Why are you not hiding? Like, your phone has no option to hide those images. And for all this, yeah. Not, you don't even need a folder for it. It's, there literally is a hide option in any sort of phone. Android's have it, iPhones have it. Google Pixels probably have it. Like, why the fuck wouldn't Google Pixel have it, right? Why you? Bro, just hide your boob pictures. It's not that hard. If you really gotta take pictures of your titties, I ain't no one to fucking judge. You got good looking titties, you got good looking titties. But hide that shit. I'm just gonna see beams. <laughs> For me, it would be cat pictures. I refuse to hide my titty pics. Dude, then I'm sorry, but eventually your dad is gonna see them. Anxiety inducing than handing someone your phone to show them a picture, and you're just like, legit. Okay. It legit is anxiety back. inducing. Because if they accidentally swipe, they're gonna be seeing your hentai horse futa. <laughs> am I right? Who among us does not? Among us. I remember one time I was so obsessed with a boy that I found out his address, his mom and dad's number. That's I would call his mom and when she answered, I would make up lies about him so he got his phone taken away so he didn't talk to other girls. I found his family members' names, how many times he moved houses, what schools he went to, found all his family photos, found all the girls he messed with so I could become friends with them. What's crazy is men will look at this and they'll be like, I could fix her. <laughs> okay, so when I was in third grade, I had a crush on- No, you can't! You cannot fix that. That is not fixable. Don't, don't, don't stick your dick in crazy, right? Don't do that. <laughs> Doc, so what was that? You legit? Am I right? Don't Holy shit! That that is stalking behavior. Get help. Get fucking help. Every you're a stalker. Found all the girls you're not cute. With so I could become friends with them. Dude, you're not cute. You're not quirky. You're not hee hee. I'm so funny. I'm, I'm so. Random. Oh my god. You're a stalker, you're a criminal, and you should be behind bars. What's crazy is men will look at this and they'll be like, I could fix her. Okay, you so can't. when I was in third grade, I had a crush on this guy, but he had a crush on this other girl, and I cried about it to my mom, and my mom was like, who cares? They're not gonna get married. And that made me feel better until I saw today that they did in fact get married. This <laughs> my brain didn't recognize the entire thing, but let me, let me, let me again. Okay, so when I was in third grade, I had a crush on this guy, but he had a crush on this other girl. Oh, oh, oh. I got it. A perfect sad violin. Holy I shit. This other girl, and I cried about it to my mom, and my mom was like, who cares? They're not gonna get married. And, and that they made did. me feel better until I saw today that they did, in fact, get married. Oh my god. This reminds me when people are like, oh, like... <sighs> Don't worry, your school bully is gonna be fat and ugly in the Very future. Necessary. No, my school bully is a f***ing bodybuilder now. She could kick my ass. It's important to remember <laughs> she? that you are not the main character. And sometimes good things- She could kick my ass? <laughs> I need some lore to that. It's happened to people you do not like. L. And honestly, you're 27 years old. Time to move on from your third grade crush. A guy I was hooking up with told me I was getting chubby and I should eat less. I just ate an entire f***ing pizza. F*** you, Brian. Legit. Like, fuck that. I ate an entire fucking pizza. Bro, I got two burgers today. To be fair, one is still uneaten. One is still uneaten. I have not touched a second one. It was... The entire thing was 50% off and I got a free burger alongside it. Why would I not order that? Why would I not order that? And why would I not eat an entire fucking pizza? I'm an adult, I can do whatever the fuck I want to! Can't say shit, I can eat two whole ass pizzas. I can't. No, that's too much for me. <laughs> this is a W. This isn't an L, this is a W. Oh no, no, no. Do not do this. Do not spite eat to get back at <laughs> someone calling you fat. You go to the yes, gym do and- do it! Sirens. <laughs> What is happening out there? Who is dying? The guy I really like ghosted me because I posted a TikTok about guys with piercings and he didn't have any. Honestly, kind of the man's L here. 
Women will often huh? talk about what they're attracted to and what their type is. And they'll talk about like what men they find handsome. And like men who like that woman huh? will like constantly obsessively compare themselves to those features. Um, my lawyers have advised me not to finish this. <laughs> you just have to eat. <laughs> and those people they'll be discouraged because they don't look anything like them like maybe she likes blonde hair and maybe he has brown hair but if she likes you she will make an exception and maybe she will. she's attracted to things she didn't even know she was attracted yes. to until she met you congratulations absolutely to the right who she's she's so right on that like she's so right on this like you don't like guys you don't need to be like the perfect fucking image of attraction in our head to us we will still love you like give us chicken nuggets that's all we need <laughs> you don't need to be like fucking sukuna looking ass sukuna's fucking hot okay but it's unrealistic as fuck <laughs> you don't need to be like what some sukuna gojo looking ass you don't need to you don't need to get a piercing if you don't want to! You don't need to get a tattoo if you don't want to! Exactly! Respect yourself! <laughs> oh my god, Sukuna though. Like, bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> Didn't even know she was attracted to until she met you. Congratulations to the man who unmatched with me the moment I told him I was a journalist. Ooh. Keep it classy, middle America. Also, guess whose name I'm running through the court records tonight. <laughs> From zero to a hundred, bro. She turned from zero to a criminal real quick. I don't think that's legal. I don't think she's allowed to do that. <laughs> what a chad. Do not date I'm, I'm, journos. I'm sorry. You want match me on Tinder, so now I'm gonna run your name through the courts. Okay, psycho. Oh. Honestly, though, like, honestly, the fuck are journalists nowadays? Journalists think we want their opinion. We don't. Like, we don't need fucking journalists anymore. Journalists today think... Like, did you guys ever see American news? Like, any of us non-Americans here ever seen American news? It's like a fucking talk show. I don't want your opinion on the news. I want the news! Tattoos are fucking cool, especially fox tattoos. So, Paul, your tattoos are fucking W. French news is the same shit. Actually! Oh my god, the chippy chippy chippa chippa. <laughs> like, Germany news are just news. Straight to the point and straight reporting. No opinion based, nothing. It's just straight up facts. No fake news, no nothing. No opinions. Why do I need your opinion on shit? I don't need opinions. I want the news. That's why it's called the news. I heard that as titties. I thought you said fox titties. Yeah, we need fox titties, obviously. Oh, of course she worked for Jezebel. <laughs> Rest in piss. Women need to start using men for sex. Huh? Sleep with them and block them. Huh? Give them a taste of their own medicine. Who wants to tell her? No, but really, not all men do that. So now you're just contributing to, to the problem of abuse. Do not Legit. do this. Woman L. My boyfriend said he was into BDSM, so he'd have me doing burpees, planking, wall sits, and push-ups. I was okay. into it, and he said he loves watching girls get pushed to their physical and mental limits when they submit to him. Then Wait. After a few months of this, he admitted he was just trying to get me in better shape because he didn't like having sex with me as much as he did at my old weight. Should I be offended? I... Wait, what's the age? 18 and 29! 18 and 29! Guys, you ever heard the term former minor? <laughs> like, 18? You just turned into an adult, right? But you're also not quite an adult, like, it's like the adolescence phase, right? You're still, like, forming your own opinions and shit. Like, yeah, you can drink it. Most European countries, I guess, not America. But it's. That's weird. That is too much of an age gap.
Like, I don't mind, like, general age gaps, right? I don't, I don't, I got nothing against that. But this? With these ages? That's weird. Also, just, I don't, I don't know what to say, like... You've seen voice? Oh, lord. Like... On one hand, like, good for him to trigger to lose weight because... Hey, it's good for your mental health, it's good for your actual physical health, it's good, it's good, right? But at the same time, he could have been honest, but maybe he also couldn't because she really would have just gotten offended by if he told her, you need to lose a little bit of weight, you're a little bit chubby. And then she might have gone like, if you don't love me at my worst, you didn't deserve me at my best kind of bullshit, so... Say he's taking the W here. <laughs> me in better shape because he didn't like having sex with me as much as he did at my old weight. Should I be offended? <laughs> okay, this one is just funny. Wait, it what is funny. Ages? 18 and 29. My old weight? Me and my boyfriend are hanging a <laughs> yeah, that's and I no told problem. Him to just let me do it. And now there's 30 holes in the wall. How do I tell him I need him to do it? Let your man do man things. Men were built for war and hunting. And now they're stuck in cubicles for eight hours a day doing Microsoft Excel. The least you could do is let a man hang a damn TV. I don't Legit. care. Just let him if do you it, man. Open the jar yourself. Give it to him. Men in captivity yeah, need to feel it. like they have a purpose, what? or else they die. <laughs> do you notice that men are no longer persuasive? Once they ask you out on a date and you say no, that's it. These guys are told when a wait, woman- Wait, 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 I, I didn't catch that one. Uh, to be honest, it's good she- Yeah, she did try. To be honest, I like- I like doing shit on my own too, right? I can do shit on my own. I all built my own fucking bed. I built every piece of furniture I got in my apartment right now. I built everything here because I live the fuck alone. I got no one to do it for me. I have to do it. <laughs> so I have to get all that, like, the, hand, the handicraft shit going. But if he offers to do it for you, and you fail the first few attempts, just let him do it. Just let him do it. <laughs> two boxes, two angels, and a full arm FF sleeve that's just been started. Oh yeah, your tattoos are really sick. You could do is let a man hang a damn TV. I don't care if you can open the jar yourself. Give it to him. Men in captivity I can't need open to feel like myself. they have a purpose. It's so hard. Or else they die. <laughs> I need Do assistance. you notice that men are no longer persuasive? Once they ask you out on a date and you say no, that's it. That's good. That's called consent. If he accepts that no, that's that's a good thing. If you said no to him and he accepted that, that's a good thing. You said no. You, you said no. You said no. No, it's no! Not understanding basic consent nowadays, man. These guys are told when a woman says no, that means no. And they're correct. So if you say no, you better f***ing mean no. Apparently, yeah. like, a large percentage of men aren't even approaching women anymore. The amount of TikToks I have seen of women secretly filming men hitting on them and the men are not even being creepy. They're being pretty normal. Maybe they're a bit awkward. Oh, uh, yeah, I've and seen I've like, seen that too. This creep was hitting on me. Whoa, how- They generally could have been- Like, I've seen some of those shorts and TikToks as well, right? Generally could have been the nicest person ever. So it's just like us. Hey, yo. Honestly, I don't even remember. I don't know how anyone is ever nice to anyone. I don't have any fucking human encounters. But generally being the nicest- Man, ever you could be and being kind and respectful and she's making him out to be a fucking creep when it's just not true like what like, uh... dare him like how do you think your parents met how are people <laughs> supposed to meet people nowadays tinder like you can't just walk up to a girl or guy you think is cute anymore you have to be swiping on them i am afraid we have me tooed a little too close to the sun and now the men are afraid of speaking to us i asked my boyfriend if he wanted to rail me and he said he was too tired so we went to bed and i literally woke up to him jerking it honestly I i
Ha? <laughs> I mean, I, 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 hi Lombix, welcome in. How's it going? We are just reacting to Sean Head right here. We're just watching that video right now. Um, let me let me just replay that for you, you so you get context to Numbix. Do you have heard about murder drones? I have not. Actually broke me, like speaking to us. I asked my boyfriend if he wanted to rail me and he said he was too tired, so we went to bed and I literally woke up to him jerking it. Honestly, I Okay, just like my, my brain is processing so many things. Like on one point, like <laughs> thank you for the full numbers. Thank you. The oh, holy shit, <laughs> that same like. That's one way to start it, yes. But, like, oh my god. Like, my brain is literally processing so many things at once right now. Like, on one hand, right? Like, I get that actually, like, the process of having sex can be way more exhausting than just moving your head up and down, right? I get that. Like, that's, that's fair game. That's fair game if you say you're too tired for that. But don't fucking go and jerk off the next moment. <laughs> don't just go jerking off the next moment. <laughs> because that's just disrespectful at this point. <laughs> that is so hella disrespectful. <laughs> Especially when she could have done it for you. Like, what, what the fuck do you mean? <laughs> <It's the motherfucking laughs> Honestly, I can't decide whose L this is. Is it her L because he didn't want to have sex with her? Or is it his L for being too lazy? Perhaps she lays there like a dead fish? I don't know. Maybe just work out your issues in private. Why, why is this even on TikTok? <laughs> Wait, no, on second thought, do not work them out in private. This is great content. Please do keep posting. I got asked on a date today and I She's so right for that. <laughs> I was once suffering with a chest infection and could barely read, but when my girlfriend at the time approached me, you don't know her po oh. <laughs> uh, uh your version is on cooldown? What are you guys talking about? Wait, am I missing something? Yo, only a... Yo, only a... Uh, that's why I never hit on women also. Got ugly as me, but no! Stop! <laughs> the on only one person in chat can have that debuff at a time and I have it for the next while. You wait- What? <laughs> <laughs> no! Stop it, guys! None of you are ugly! I blocked the guy because he asked me what I wanted- Wait, we gotta restart that. Why is this even on TikTok? Wait, no, on second thought, do not work them out in private. This is great content. Please do keep posting. I got asked on a date today and I blocked the guy because he asked me what I wanted to do instead of just telling me. Listen. Are you for real? Are you for real? I can't. I have no words. I have no words. There is a reason women are so indecisive about things, about where to go, and especially about what to eat. It is in our blood. Back in the caveman times, we didn't have a choice. You hunted the mammals <laughs> and you dragged them back to the cave. And that is what we ate. So you choose. You bringing home Chipotle is the modern man bringing home a mammoth carcass. <laughs> she, she has a point. I guess I now understand why we are so indecisive. <laughs> I guess I learned something new about myself today as well. <laughs> One time I was gonna have sex with this dude after a concert, and we went to shower off, and I did this naked little jig and went, it's time to wash me holes, and he made me go home. <laughs> she did not! Did she 
like together for a few years at this point, sure, but not on like. Oh my god, not like. Oh, is that hurting? <laughs> no! <laughs> no, don't fumble the quirky girl, no! I'm out eating with this guy, and he took the bill, and I offered to pay, and he said, okay, here. <laughs> I love this trend of women being like, okay. <laughs> what else do you want him to do? You told him I'm gonna pay. And he's like, yeah, sure, do it. Does he and sit there for 50 because I can't choose it? Oh my god, I feel you so hard. I just walk up and down that aisle, and I don't know what to get, but I do want to get something, but I just don't know what. And then I don't get anything. And then I'm sad because I didn't get anything. I want this, and men being like, okay, and women being like, wait, no, not like that. For the love of God, <laughs> just say what you mean. Men do not know how to play these mind games. These boys autistic out here. A guy wrote to me on Tinder calling me quite the catch because I like nachos and always sunny. So I wrote back saying, well, if you're impressed by that, you should see my tits. And he unmatched me. I literally have no idea what men want. See this? Splitting <laughs> the bill for what they ate is the way. Yeah, true. True. I am broken. <coughs> Holy sh <laughs> don't even I don't even know what to say to that. This is a woman who has on her mind that men want sex, 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 and nothing else. So she came out too strong right out of the gate and scared him off. I was on a blind date. The guy opened up Tinder while sitting there with me and was swiping on girls. I guess I wasn't interesting enough. Oh my god! That is so disrespectful. Don't ever do that. Holy shit. Oh. No way. No way. Like, just end the date. Like... What? Haha. -ha. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of pain in that haha. -ha. What's the hardest thing you ever had to say? It's me or the PlayStation. He took the PlayStation over his marriage and 10 year relationship. Oh my god. He did not take he did not take the PlayStation over the marriage. He took your dumbass out. He dodged a fucking bullet. You gave him a stupid ultimatum instead of resolving your issues. You are the problem woman. If you make him choose between two things like that, like something that like something as a PlayStation, something as irrelevant as a PlayStation, and you get upset with that. You you put that PlayStation at high stakes. You put that PlayStation at PlayStation at a value of the marriage. Not him. You did that to yourself, woman. And I respect him for walking out. He should have walked out. It's not you are the PlayStation. It's a shit relationship or the playstation and that playstation it's gonna bring him so much more joy than you ever will you know i always say if somebody offers you an ultimatum between them and something else take the something else but in this case i don't know a playstation <laughs> like maybe there's more to this story but ending a 10-year relationship and marriage over a playstation the playstation isn't asking that is absolutely true <laughs> the PlayStation legit didn't ever treat anyone wrong. <laughs> you don't negotiate with terrorists? I just... came to the realization... Okay. ...why I'm single. Every okay. guy that I'm like, oh yeah, he's attractive, I see their wives, and they just look like so, like... You know? Not like this. You know, like... I pretend my tattoos are gone. <laughs> That's why guys what? don't want to wife me up. I thought these men wanted like, you know, big, strong, tough girls. 
Okay, so first of all, what? she will. She's delusional. Like. She's so delusional. Maybe it's your character. Maybe it's your personality. You ever thought about that? It's not always about the visuals, woman. We'll find a man, okay? She's adorable. Can we do murder drones reaction after this one? What are murder drones? Tell me about it. Is it a video? <laughs> like, what is it? She's self-aware. She's just a little quirked up white girl with tattoos. It's Who doesn't YouTube like a little serious. quirked up white girl with tattoos? I personally love tattoos. I love piercings. If I wasn't such a pussy, I would look like this. In high school, I was so determined to get an Avenged Sevenfold logo on the back of my neck. So happy that didn't happen. <laughs> but anyway, some men do like her style. And trust me, judging by the internet, men love muscle mommies. They but if do. she's not attracting the type of men she wants, she could just easily soften up her style. She could take the nose ring out. She could put her hair down. I'm not gonna say L or W. This is kind of neutral. I'm leaning towards W because she's so self-aware about it. But I think she's gonna no, make it. No, it's an L. I'm gonna make it, queens. If Fucking a man L. leaves you after you've cheated, he clearly wasn't a real man. Real what? men would work through it and help you become a better woman. They accept you with all your flaws. Bet you cheated! Bitch, you fucking cheated. You cheat. Do I? Oh my. I'm. I'm so upset. This makes me so upset. This makes me so upset. Bitch is cheating and it's like, oh, you should have just. We need to work on it. You're not a real man if you don't work with me on it. Like, there's a reason I cheated on you. It's like, I. I love you, but I also need to be with other men. Legit? Zero sympathy? Like, oh, from people that made Amazing the Chico Circus. Oh, I didn't watch Amazing the Chico Circus, but I saw all the I saw all the uh, memes about it. But I shall see. I shall see. Like. I'm just, I can't, like. Pause. When I thought my man was cheating on me, so I slept with his dad, <laughs> but actually he was just planning on his proposal to me and I <laughs> ruined it. She a fool! She's one for the streets! She belongs to the streets. What? When you go through his phone to see if he's cheating, but you find screenshots of you cheating. Oh my god. She's been had. She's been clumped on. Actually. Actually, on the reverse. Some people think men have multiple women or do the uh is based cool, but when it's the other way it's disgusting. Yeah, it's it's both ways. It's both ways, definitely. Like for me, both ways. Like if a man has a lot of women, it's he's also a fucking hoe. He's a man whore, is what it is. He's a fucking man whore. <laughs> Legit. Like if you're cheating, why is she that he's cheating? Like, what is going on here? This is thrown so many fucking levels. When you checked his phone- Yeah, uh, go for a short description, like a short summary. ...phone to see if he's cheating, but found nothing. Then suddenly he said, my turn. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Oh. Women are not okay. Listen. Are you- if your partner wants all of your passwords and constantly wants to see your phone, reads all your texts, and wants access to all your accounts, you should break up with them. Because there's no trust in that relationship. If your partner wants all of your passwords and all of your access to everything, no. And the con- like, if the opposite is the case, if your partner trusts you, gives you that access all the 
open your own account without you asking. That can be. They're a keeper. You, they're, they're legit. They're good. But if break up with them, if she demands your passwords, if she demands to see your texts, no, no. Like you can ask, like, yo, what's up? Who you? What's she doing? Who you texting? Like, uh, like, pinch a conversation. But if you demand, give me your password. I want to read your phone texts. Fuck out of your hoe all the time and accuses you of cheating on them randomly that's most likely projection and they are cheating on you not all the Damn. time sometimes they have trust issues maybe from a different relationship in these cases yes it, it was projection mom of two <laughs> leaves her husband of 14 years for a stranger she was convinced was her soulmate after one magical night at a conference only to be ghosted by him <gasps> she got ghosted by him She was ghosted by him. I wish she left him for 40 years. I can't. I fucking can't. Look, I don't know some people don't like the idea that robots are the runaways, so they send other robots to kill them, aka murder drones. Oh. I'm sorry, are we supposed to feel bad for this bitch? Like, because legit? I don't. Men, if the DNA confirms the baby is not yours, it doesn't change the fact that you must take responsibility yes, of does. the baby. Women go through a lot in marriages, and women deserve better. What about men? Men deserve better. Fucking can't. I fucking can't with this. Like, I just, I can't. What? Woman, 37, stabs husband multiple times after finding explicit photos of another woman that turned out to be her when she was thinner. No. This man text. I no way. Oh my god! The insecurity of her! The insecurity! Now that my mom cheated with a person from League of Legends. What? What? Texted me, thank you for showing me what it feels like to be loved. I can't wait to make you my wife someday. It's gay sh like that that makes me want to cheat. Eh? Eh? Bruh. Bruh. Gay shit? Like this? <laughs> is, it, is it gay to be <laughs> straight? Apparently! To this- According to this person, it is! Like... Women be like, <laughs> Wow, thanks! This is why it's so fucking hard to convince men to open up. I hope and pray this king has found someone who actually appreciates him. When he cheated on me with the same girl my other ex cheated on me with. Girl, that isn't your average hoe. That's your arch nemesis. Legit! What the fuck? Ain't no way. Ain't no way. What? How does that even happen? That is her arch nemesis. What? That woman be out for her ass. Yo, Chris, what up? Welcome in. How are you doing today? We're just watching to show on head today if women are okay, and they definitely are not. You need to either defeat her in battle, or commit seppuku right now. No <laughs> other way. Betrayed. I suggested an open marriage to my husband to spice up our sex life. He then fell for his lover, and I was heartbroken. Many- The- Let me tell you, the only reason she wanted an open marriage was she- Because she was catching feelings for another guy, but she didn't want to call it cheating. That's why she- She suggested it. That's the only fucking reason. And- then, 
she got a taste of her own medicine. She fucking got the taste of her own medicine. He just won the fucking game. This is on her. This is on her, not him. Absolutely agreed. Absolutely is a red flag. Like, why? Why are you in a committed relationship where you're dedicated to each other just to, out of nowhere, suggest an open one? Like, that's something catchy. Many, many such cases. Woman wants to open up the marriage, man finds someone else, and leaves with her. Because what if the person's polyam, 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 what? Polyas. As Moon says, it's rare. Like, right? Like, it's just like, we're, we're speaking of if they're in like a. Like, we're speaking of if they've been together for a long time and suddenly suggested. Like, we're speaking of if they suddenly suggested out of nowhere. That's the red flag. Because as soon as you open up the marriage, he's not gonna take it seriously anymore. Because you're not taking it seriously anymore. And yeah. a lot of people just can't be polyamorous. They can only be monogamous. They can only yeah. give their love and intimacy to yeah. one person at a time. So L. Common open marriage L. Getting two jobs and telling my boyfriend that I'll work 70 hours a week so I can pay the bills so he can find his dream job to find out he was cheating on me on the days I worked 16 hours. Oh when my he went god. On Tinder, right wait, wait, wait. We don't, we don't just go to the next one like that. Like, holy shit. That is such a feels bad. That is a huge L for her, actually. Like, she's working her ass off for him. She is working her ass off for the guy. So he can be happy. Just, I, uh, fuck, fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. Right in front of me, an hour after taking my virginity. I, <laughs> Pay the bills so he can find his dream job to find out he was cheating on me on the days I worked 16 hours. When he went on Tinder right in front of me, an hour after taking my virginity. You got your... Lady. From... From the context given. From the context given, I... I am assuming that this was a Tinder date too, right? From the context given, I am assuming it was a Tinder date. And if it was a Tinder date, what the fuck are you doing with giving your virginity away on a Tinder date? In the middle of the day on the beach, may I add. What the fuck? I nursed my cheating husband back to health from severe brain trauma. Then he cheated again. I need more context to that story. Again? Why is there an again? If I catch my boyfriend or girlfriend in bed with another person, I'm throwing hands, so I'm tossing them out. Yeah, 100%, man. 100%. Like, fuck that. So then, in fact, it goes full circle to being a hero. <sighs> Can I stop my villain arc? Wait, why are you starting your villain arc? Why are you starting your villain arc, Paul? What is going on? Some people need to learn some respect. <laughs> actually, though, actually, like, I, I need some more context. So I know this is about women posting their L's, but goddamn, these men ain't shit. No wonder there's so many insane, broken harpies coming at me when I talk about male loneliness. And no wonder there are so many men who think all women are lying whores. Y'all are destroying yourselves. Legit. Stop cheating. Is it that hard? It's both. Oh, someone. I don't think so. Look at my audience. Follow people who haven't done that. I mean, the whole time I was seeing him, I was kind of just using it as a psychology experiment. I didn't Excuse really like you? the guy. I more just wanted to see if I could break his heart. Uh, which disgusting. It was fun. So did what? you break his heart then? Just a wee bit. 
I hope I did a little damage. Demon! De Demon actually, like... I hate the way she's speaking. I fucking hate the way she's speaking. This, this woman is the reason why I hate women. <laughs> this is the reason why I hate women. This is the reason why men hate women. This is the reason why women hate women. This is the reason why women are hated. This woman! She is the cause! She is the devil! Uh, I just wanted to do some damage and I just did a little bit of psychology test on him to like break his heart a bit. Like, he, he, I'm so. Go fuck yourself, or. Like the guy. I more just wanted to see if I could break his heart. Go fuck yourself! It was fun. So, did you break his heart then? Just a wee bit. Just go fuck I hope yourself! I did a little damage. Demon! Demon! Be gone, vile woman! Congratulations, you have. Pause, yes. What up? They had pets. Can you go back to the interview image? Yes. Break his heart. There. Well, chat is blocking it. I need to make a sick burn. Do you want me to disable the chat there for a moment? There. Now you can see her. Like, like legit. What is that? Let, let me let me get the fuck out of the way, right? Let me let me get the fuck out of the way. How do I get out of the way? Which is the button that makes me go out of the way? This is the button. Like, what is she wearing? She definitely is an quote unquote escort, how they call themselves nowadays. I still got them on. <laughs> I'm pissed on that. What? What's holding on tight on that top or her grip on to reality? <laughs> I, honestly, they actually do. Wait, Jay, you're right. Legit. Honestly, street workers have more respect to themselves than that bitch. Look, look at the butt. Look, look at the bottom right. Look at the bottom right. Look at the bottom right. So her bottom, like you can see, like there's like a string right here, right? And th like there, she's definitely wearing a bikini, but the shorts, they're pulled down. The shorts are pulled down. There's no tattoo, it's not a tattoo, it's a ring from a bikini. She's definitely wearing a bikini. Like, what is she doing? Like, I, I, I fucking can't. I, I fucking can't. Like, let's not go with insulting her appearance itself, right? Like, let's not go with, like, flat boobs or, like, broken hair. Let's go with the choices she's made, which is the clothes. <laughs> Frisk, chill out, just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit of chill. <laughs> I know. I, I've been very mad at her too. Like, fuck this woman. Fuck everything she's doing. But no personal insults, as in, as in appearances. The Draco. Like. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's been barely 20 minutes. <laughs> Let me put chat pack on, and let me go back to the other side. There we go. Mike must have just a tiny wee tiny. Alright. It was fun. So did you break his heart then? Just a wee I can't I hope this. I did a little damage. Demon! Demon! Be gone, vile woman! Congratulations, you have created another person with trust issues. People like this should be in jail. People like this should be in prison. People like this should be thrown in the pit. Remembering the time he came home and told me he cheated on me, so I slept with him and made him tell me I was better. When I found out- uh, No self-respect looking ass? Like, legit no self-respect looking ass? What is going on? Legit no self-respect looking ass.
Nothing else. My boyfriend was cheating on me. Instead of breaking up, he had me and the other girl give speeches on why he should stay with either of us. And when he chose me, I took him out to dinner and got him thank you presents. Another no self-respect! What are you doing? No! That guy belongs to the streets! No self-respect! He ate him out of here! He cheated! I don't understand women. Never was much of a romantic. I used to beg him to stop cheating on me by giving him money. Me remember- You can do so much better, woman. Sweetheart. Sweetheart, you can do so much better. Don't- No. No. I mean, the fact that she posted- The fact that she posted that, I hope she learned from it. It makes me- think that she learned from it, that she is she is more knowledgeable now. It it fills me with hope. I hope she's better. Remembering the time I walked in on my boyfriend cheating on me and I left and came back five minutes later and asked to join. They declined. Looking at the same you think I'm actually normal? <laughs> I know, right? Get some self-respect! Holy sh I would say you could do better, but... Honestly, I don't know anymore. Turn up the cheat. All women should have an affair once in their life. No! It made me feel sexier and look younger. First of all... How? Did it? Second of all... This is the kind of sh the average woman has blasting into her mind 24-7. And you wonder why like 45% of them are destined to be single in 2030. And on the flip side, you have all these like manosphere red pill people excusing cheating, but that's a video for another day. Is the man I'm cheating with lying to me? <laughs> like he does to his wife? Hold on. Hold on, what? Pause <laughs> on how a second, where's my knife? <laughs> Like, are destined to be single in 2030. And on the flip side, you have all these like manosphere red pill people excusing cheating, but that's a video for another day. Is the man I'm cheating with lying to me? Uh, I uh... Like he does to his wife? Yes! Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Next. I've cheated on every single one of my significant others. Would you still take a shot? Fellow- Don't take a shot. Do not take the shot. Uh, don't go anywhere near her. You don't. You don't. You don't wanna. No. Give me a moment, guys. Just, just a moment. Like, some of these women, right? Some of these posts are the reason men are misogynistic. Some of these women are the reason why some, uh, some men are, are misogynistic. Or however the fuck you pronounce that. And can you blame them? A little bit. But the women are to blame more. <laughs> I feel safe if you held the knife during this video. <laughs> Plus, would you take a shot? I swear to god, women with big titties can get away with anything. The power dynamic of the world is this. The peasants, the rich, the elites, the deep state, women with big titties. <laughs> Broke up with my boyfriend who loved me so I could hook up with my coworker that I've had a huge crush on since forever who just got out of a 3.5 year relationship. All to get pumped and dumped. Thinking about mm -hmm. how my perfect first- He called it pumped and dumped. Never have I ever heard of being called pumped and dumped. <laughs> pumped and dumped. <laughs> you deserve to get pumped and dumped.
Yes, pumped and dumped is what you think it is. <laughs> Jay, absolutely fucking right. First boyfriend who was nice and bought flowers and gifts and planned surprise dates and never followed girls on social media and how I dumped him because I was bored and went off to date men who literally abused and cheated on me. Alamo. Think wow. You were bored of someone giving you love? You were bored? You were bored of someone loving you? You don't deserve love. You don't fucking deserve him. <laughs> That's bargain <boring>, chill. <laughs> Thinking about the time I left a man who would do anything to make me happy for a literal bum. When I had wow. a boy that had loved me unconditionally since we were 13, flies across the country to surprise me, and after two years still supported me and worshipped me, and I let him down for a lying, cheating piece of shit. <laughs> do I need to say anything? Yeah, W for the guy. Legit, legit. Like, do I even need to say anything? I... She... She could have had a perfect life story. She could have had the perfect life. Just for her to be fucking cheating. I'm starting to suspect there's not a male loneliness epidemic, and it's more of a avoiding these evil bitches epidemic. This Legit. video is turning me into a misogynist. I was Legit. The the nice guy for the bad boy and getting her heartbroken was a silly trope. Like, I knew it happened, but I didn't know it happened this much. L's all around. Throw these women in the pit. I 100%. These guys find women who appreciate their niceness. Because believe it or not, despite popular belief, most women do like that. I asked him how tall he was and he said, I'm five and I immediately hung the phone up. Turns out he's 5'11". How do I apologize? Oh my god. I rejected the sweet guy various times. Then oh my fucking god. I just can't. I don't know what to say. Um. Um. We're moving on. A couple months later, he's dating someone new. Then once I got home, I cried. The time I- Wait, wait, I didn't catch that one. Turns out he's 5'11". How do I apologize? I rejected the sweet guy various times. Then a couple months later, he's dating someone new. Then once I got home, I cried. You reject him multiple times and- When he actually find- Find someone he's not happy with, you're crying? If you wanted him! Why don't you just say so? Why not reject him? Why play games? That's not a game! Love is not a game. Love is not a game, people. <sighs> the time my prison pen pal came out of jail, f me once and never spoke to me again after two years of telling me he loved me and wanted me to be in his life forever. What? Oh. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Pro tip, do not play with people feelings, really? <laughs> oh, my bad. Women don't teach you how to not play with people's feelings, you know? That's all women do. They... I... Uh, Legit, just be a fucking decent person. I'm sorry, your what? Your prison pen pal? You're telling me the convict in jail was not a good person? I just of hydrated. All people? I left my husband because the sex was boring. Now I'm having the nah. same problem with my new partner. I feel like it's a you issue at this point. That's definitely a her issue, not a them issue. There... There is a common factor here. He proposed. <laughs> Aw, that's nice. To the girl he dated after me. <laughs> Unlucky. Oh. I know we all let our dogs eat us out at least once. You... Oh, you what? 
You bitch, you what? Bitch, you what? I'm sorry. We? Us? Who is this us and we you speak of? Look at the fuck up! <laughs> the oh. I know we. I can. There's, there's nothing on it. There's no names. Be a big, I'm gonna throw up. Aww. Ugh. You'll let our dogs eat us out at least once. I'm sorry. We? Us? Who is this us and we you speak of? One time I was riding a dude and he pressed my bladder so I ended up peeing all over him <clears> for <throat> a solid minute and after I said I'm claiming my territory. I pee in the shower. N no. Like, I know that that must have been really awkward already. Right? But don't, don't make it worse. Don't make it worse. Don't make it worse. Yeah, like, it can, right? It can happen. It, it can, right? But don't make it worse. I pee in the shower so, or so frequently that my feet are dyed yellow. You didn't miss her at Frisk. You did not mishear it. You heard it correctly. And I'm not going back. I will not be going back. I heard it twice now. I don't want to hear it again. I left my underwear on the bathroom floor after my shower the other day, and now there's ants eating my discharge. I'm not showing this, but it's literally just dirty underwear with ants all over it. You uh, uh. Guy! You know, growing up, I was always told, like, oh, boys are the smelly, messy gender, and I don't know about that. Confession, one time somebody nutted in my mouth and his semen was chewy. I- I held back tears. Oh god, this one made me gag. Who's L is this? Is this hers or the man's? I don't even know. See a fucking doctor. Okay guys, I really need help. Every check from my sugar daddy bounced. Wells Fargo is closing my accounts and I'm gonna owe them a lot of money. Like thousands and thousands. I'm in a full-blown panic right now. I don't know what to do. Oh, look at that. If that isn't the consequences of our own actions. I'll come out of like to say what? Oh god. Holy shit. You know, as a socialist, I I really hate to say this, and I wish we lived in a different society and didn't have to give all our time and our life to this labor under this evil capitalist system, but get a fing job, bitch! <laughs> I spent 20k on plastic surgery to try to get a man, but it hasn't worked. I've been single for seven years. Well, you went from cute and unique to like cookie cutter Kardashian Legit like she looked so cute. I spent tw like, love her, like, smile maybe a bit. Give yourself like a little bit of more personality in your face. You're so cute. What did you do to yourself? What the fuck did you do to yourself, bro? Which was <sighs> she was so cute before. Why can't you guys not see the entire video? Why- why is- Wait- wh wh Why is there a black bar for you guys? Like, look at her! So cute! Like, on the left, so cute, on the right, like... I don't know why the entire video isn't showing. I to try to get a man, but it hasn't worked. Weird. I've been single for seven years. Well, you went from cute and unique to like cookie cutter Kardashian alien. But perhaps it is not the way you look. Maybe it is something else. You do not Maybe. have to look like a blow up doll to find love. In fact, you're more likely to not find love. Look in this way. $25,000 L. Everyone my age is having children, buying houses, and getting married. 
and I'm just over here crying with happiness that I got to hear Hillary Clinton say human rights are women's rights and women's rights are human rights in person. <laughs> you don't have kids? Wow. How old are you? Me, 31. That surprises me. I'd be lost without my kids. I mean, huh? how do you find meaning in life? Me. Marvel keeps coming out with films, so I have that. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, if you this person, like P, right? Person, this person only had a meaning in life thanks to having a child. They have no personality. That person has no personality. If you needed to get a child to get a meaning in life, you need a therapist. I'm saying that as someone who's seeing a therapist. Average millennial, reject love and family, embrace corporate media slop. Okay, it's one thing to just not want kids, it's another to cope like this. At least I have Marvel movies, at least I have Hillary Clinton, bleak. Thinking about the fact that I offered him $100 a week to add me back on Snap and talk what? to me, and he said no. I was so <laughs> ready to pay that too. I still am. I will still pay you to add me back. Please, I'm begging. Could oh you imagine God. this reversed? The, the, like, men paying money shit. to talk to a crazy woman? Oh, wait. That's like 60% of my Discord. I'm Rhea. Oh, my Donna, God. Nice to meet you. Oh, I've seen that. Donnie. He's a Marvel nerd. Are you into Marvel? You know what? No. Like, my brother watches them, but I just can't get into anime. Like... What? <laughs> Like, you can't not like Marvel. It's amazing. There's so many different things, and it's not animated. Destroy it's like her. A bunch of superheroes who try Destroy to Destroy her. Everybody. Get her ass. Destroy it. Oh, no. Destroy it. We need to hook this guy. Destroy it. Holy shit. Giga chat. Giga chat. I need to watch that again. You know what? No. Like, my brother watches them, but I just can't get into anime. Like, okay. Like, you can't not like Marvel. It's Giga amazing. chat. There's so many different things, and it's not anime, it's just like a bunch of superheroes who try to save everybody. Oh no. We need to hook this guy up Giga chat. with the other woman who's like 31 and single and only looks forward to Marvel movies. They yeah, actually, like match actually. In heaven. When I remember that I basically begged a dude who- Watch that button show. What is the code? Like, I've seen so many clips from it. It actually is hilarious had his mattress on the floor and a plastic jug full of loose change on his mantle to be with me and he said no. Wait, wait, wait. Come, come on, then Match watch. made in heaven. When I remember that I basically begged a dude who had his mattress on the floor and a plastic jug full of loose change on his mantle to be with me and he said no. That I, re that I basically begged a dude who had his mattress on the floor and a plastic jug full of loose change on his mantle to be with me and he said no right moving on still can't believe i f***ed a guy who made me drink water out of a tupperware container <laughs> i'm so desperate desperate times require desperate measurements I f a guy with actual shit on his floor. Uh, uh. That wasn't a mistake. That was... That was a life decision you did that day. You should have left. You should have left as soon as I you saw that. Leave. Okay, this is why so many women think men are improving or putting in a lot of effort. Because they don't have to. They can have literal shit on their floor and you will f them. How are women's standards so high and simultaneously so, so low? low? I'm a liberal. It's hard to find masculine men to date who aren't conservative. Ladies, right. stop, stop, stop f***ing right. thinking. You need your man to align with you completely. Because you know who's gonna align with you completely? A woman. A woman with bipolar disorder. Woman marries a dog after 220 failed relationships with men. The fate of every lonely man what? is suicide. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Did she marry the dog? I hope she doesn't do anything else to that poor doggo. The fate of every lonely woman 
is marrying her dog. Unfortunately, I can't make a cute recap video of this year because I spent 2022 ugly crying over my ex, quit my job, ended up in the psych ward, and got an STD. It uh really does need to be studied why women love- He already was in the psych ward. They're still helping her. I would say, get therapy, but she's already in the psych ward. She's lost. Of posting their L's. My theory is that, like, women's go-to humor is- Women have crazy sense. They want to be 6-7, and buff men don't want much. Yeah. Self-deprecation. Like, female comedians do it often. Even me, like, I'm constantly making self-deprecating jokes in videos. Yes. So it could be that, or it could be just, like, a cry for help <laughs> or attention. I have no idea, but uh, but what I do know is you couldn't beat this sh out of a man. So that was that, whatever that was. Wait, I guess I'll leave you guys with a question. Post one of your biggest L's. Did you ever fumble a relationship? Did a girl flirt with you 10 years ago and you didn't realize she was flirting until now? If you want to support the channel, please consider donating to my Patreon, link down below. I'm doing Christmas cards again this year. $5 and up, you get a personalized Christmas card and a sticker. So stay tuned for that and yeah, bye. Good video, good fucking video. One time ago, complimented and broke down crying. I was so happy. Oh man, oh sweet baby. Where are the comments? You want to look at the comments? One of my elves, I got you. I met a girl at a fancy hotel bar back in 2016. I struck up a conversation and asked her what she was doing at the hotel, and she told me that she had organized a conference at the hotel with all the big players in the world to talk about green energy and sustainability. She asked me what to do, and I said, I make goat simulator. It's a video game about being a goat. She walked away before I could even tell her about multiplayer on the I just didn't see it. Oh my god. <laughs> my L is mad. My last two serious girlfriends broke up with me because I helped them discover their sexuality. They're both asexuals now. Why break up with them? But why break up with them? The fuck? The... Huh? You don't need to... You don't need to break up? Male loneliness epidemic, that's also worth a watch at some point if you haven't already seen... I've seen Asmund react to that one. I've seen Asmund react to that one. I think, at least. Let me, let me Google Asmund and shoe on hat. Asmund Gold. No, the Twitch slot epidemic is the one that I watched from Asmund.